Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing some Pro CS2 inventories. Some North American Legends. We got Kojo and Louis CS. These guys are so nice. They reached out to me, or sorry, I reached out to them on Twitter and asked if I could review their inventories and they were nice enough to say yes. Um, let's hop right into it. Up first with Kojo Mo. Profile overview here. Nice profile pick. You know, it's him, his artwork with his team. I think he's playing for Team Take Flight right now, a North American based team. Very cool, very awesome for him. A light 14,350 hours in CS. Honestly, man, I think you need to get that up just a little bit. Those hours are looking a little bit low. Are you a part time player? Like, what is this? Come on now. Getting into the inventory. Total value $5,116. Very nice, very nice. Let's go expensive to cheap. We got some well-worn specialist gloves fade, not marble fade. Marble fade gloves are terrible. Some just normal fade gloves. How do they look? Very nice. I'm assuming we have two knives here. We have a minimum wear karambic autotronic and a field tested butterfly knife bright water. Maybe he does a CT T side thing in his videos. I know he does use the bright water butterfly knife. Let's have a look at that real fast. I actually am a bright water enjoyer. My first knife when I got back into CSGO was a Bowie knife bright water. I was matching with my friend CJ. Uh, we made a bet that if I got to gold that night, I would buy a knife and I ended up buying it for like 90 bucks. So it has some nostalgic attachment to it for me. I am a bright water enjoyer. And then this knife here, the Karambit Autotronic, very nice knife because they don't wear very like terribly. They don't get scuffed up when they wear. They just get a little bit darker. So you can get a, a battle scarred uh, Karambit Autotronic and it doesn't even look that terrible. That's a nice combo right here. I actually enjoy this. I wish that the fade gloves maybe had a little bit more red instead of pink. Obviously it's nothing on the gloves, it's just the way they look. But that's not bad at all. We have a Op Graphite with a crown foil. On the scope, crown foil, op graphite, very basic skin, old head skin, OG skin. I'm a big fan of it. Crown foil obviously looks great on it. I'm a fan of this. This is a nice skin. We got an AK fuel injector. I am a fuel injector enjoyer myself. I love this thing so much. And he's keeping it default, just keeping it clean. I think this is a skin. It works go It works well both ways. This is a skin that looks great with stickers on it, and it looks great by itself. Some skins, like if you have an AK-47 black laminate, please put stickers on it, right? But if, maybe if you have like an Aquamarine Revenge, you don't necessarily need to put stickers on it. Or an Empress, you don't need to put stickers on it. It just looks good by itself. This is a skin that can do both. Best of both worlds. Very nice skin. Another skin that wears very nicely. In the higher floats, it doesn't look scuffed. It just gets a little bit darker. So W-A-K. Nice. Not a black Amov, but still a nice op. I am a big fan of the ass Amov. Especially, I'm not a huge fan of the way that stat track counters look on normal weapons. But on anything orange, specifically the ass Amov skins, the stat track finisher, the stat track counter just kind of blends in perfectly. It looks great. This is a nice op. Uh, I'm assuming you probably use the graphite with the crown foil, but maybe you have some sort of a nostalgic attachment to this one. Let's see how many kills. 6,000. That's a good amount of kills. Almost 7,000. We have a souvenir MP9 hot rod with some Boston golds on it. This is probably going to be juice. Let's have a peek. I love the way the hot rod skins look with gold stickers. That is so nice. Beautiful. Beautiful skin. Gotta have a nice MP9. We do get spoiled on the MP9. We have, a, we have a couple good choices, and this is definitely one of them. Like this, I'm a big fan of this. We have a Phase 2 Glock Gamma Doppler. Not an Emerald, but a Phase 2. The Phase 2s honestly look not as good as the Emeralds, but way better than the other just regular Gamma Dopplers. The teal color really shines through. It changes depending on where you're looking. Very beautiful Glock here. We have a Stat Track Op Man O' War. Some old stickers, 2015 Katowice Titan Paper, 2014 Cologne Titan Paper, and a 2014 Cologne Team Dignitas Paper. 38,000 stat track kills. So this is definitely his baby. He's had this skin for a while. Let's take a look. I'm a huge fan of the Man of War in CS2. I gotta be honest, it did not look good in CSGO. It was matte, it didn't look great, but now as you can see, it kind of has like a metallic golden finish. It changes with the lighting. The Titan and the Digitas sticker fit really nice, especially the Digitas on the scope rocking the blue and yellow alien eyes. This match is really good. We have a USPS kill confirmed. 
4x navi 21 stockholm foils let's have a look this is very nice i'm a huge fan of the kill confirmed one of the best looking usps in the game and the foils look great honestly foils are a good balance in my opinion because papers can be kind of dull but sometimes i don't want you know like hollows bring a lot they have a lot going on they're very hectic they can be honestly sometimes very distracting and the foil is a really nice middle ground like it's a beautiful looking sticker adds some metallic kind of effect to the skin very nice usp big fan of that we have an m4a1s golden coil with 4x cologne 2015 team solo mid stickers this might be heat let's take a peek that is beautiful that is beautiful even though they're just papers they fit so nicely that's really well done cheers very well done man the golden coil looks phenomenal that is really nice oh, you may i am a big fan of that that is very nice we have some well-worn driver's gloves racing green maybe he unboxed these not too sure we have a deagle print stream here's the deagle i saw a brokey sticker on there shout out brokey deagle print stream can't go wrong with this thing cannot go wrong looks good great looking skin how many kills 722 relatively newer we have an op sun and leo 4x katavita 2019 team liquid hollows on it let's check it out this is a banger budget op super old god and monster collection very nice those stickers look great i don't see those stickers very often and shout out na shout out north america i love that looks great i missed when the scope on the sun and leo was purple when during cs2's beta i i, I do miss that we have a stat track ak-47 red line with 1,387 kills on it. We have 2022 Antwerp Glitters Team Liquid 4X on there. Shout out North America once again. We have a Stat Track Factory New 5.7 Copper Galaxy. Great looking 5.7 here. Check this out. It's like the Twilight Galaxy on the Glock, but obviously copper instead. Looks amazing. Looks phenomenal with the new CS2 lighting. Love it. Great skin. Great skin. We have an Aug Carve Jade beautiful looking skin i love just the solid green finishes this one's a little bit different than just like calling you know all the other skins that have the emerald finish this has a pattern to it it has a texture it kind of looks like D gamma dollars honestly but on an aug very nice beautiful thing beautiful thing m4a4 royal paladin i got hate for enjoying this skin in the past i'm a huge fan of this thing i think this looks this looks so cool the white butt the white like thing around the handle here i'm not honestly sure what that's called paired with the gold with the texture built in everywhere this looks absolutely phenomenal a skin that i do actually want just to emphasize how good this thing can look check this craft out 4x dreamhack 2014 nip hollows on it i am in love with this thing i think this looks so amazing i really want to buy one one time but this one right here is going for 500 dollars right now i don't think that's necessarily worth the price but very beautiful skin you can do a lot with this skin it's very underrated we have a tech 9 fuel injector this is probably my favorite tech 9 in the game it just it looks almost as good as it does on the ak obviously the ak looks a little bit better but for being on the tech 9 frame the fuel injector just looks phenomenal i really wish it could be on more skins maybe in the future we'll see we have a field tested ssg integral this can actually be one of the most expensive ssgs in the game depending on the wear let's take a peek very cool skin america again shout out north america love this thing red bull stickers again shout out north america cloud nine this guy he's patriotic and i love that he's a patriotic gamer very nice ssg abyss with 2x katavita 2015 pa titan papers on it very nice rpk sticker as well from cologne 2015 well worn mag 7 justice this thing is actually super cool i really like this thing actually this is a very cool skin the mag 7 actually has a couple like very slept on skins and this one being one of them as you can see it's got the metallic finish especially on the golden wings very cool looks like he's investing in stockholm got a bunch of stockholm stickers oh let's go 13 p250 sand dunes minimal wear p250 sand dunes what is not to love this inventory is a 10 out of 10 strictly because of the p250 sand dunes yeah great inventory i like it maybe if you wanted to build a theme 
Um, I'd love to help if you wanted to reach out. But other than that, great start, great foundation, couple sleeper picks in there. Love it. Great inventory. All right, next up we have Louis CS. This guy is all over my CS2 TikTok feed, all over my YouTube shorts. From Cincinnati, Ohio, Dream Chaser. God bless, baby. Let's hop into the inventory. Total inventory value, $8,900. Very nice. Knife glove combo. We have a Talon Knife Factory New Ruby, nicknamed Endgame. Very much so, Endgame. Very much so. And then we have paired with some field tested slingshot gloves. Oh, I am a fan of this combo. I'm going to meet right this combo a little bit here. That is great. That is so good. I've spoken about this combo multiple times. If I was going to go with the red combo, this is what it would be the ivory handle on the Talon Knife and the ruby blade just pairs so well with the white and red on the slingshot gloves this is so good i'm a big fan of this knife glove combo props to you louis props to you next up we have some shadow daggers vanilla i don't believe he rocks these ever if i'm not mistaken he might have be he might be hosting a giveaway on his twitter right now um giving these away so go check him out guys he's also rocking an mp9 hot rod not as nice as Kojo's. He's got some Phase RMR stickers on there. Some hollows. I actually think the RMRs are what, like pretty decent in CS2. I hate, personally, the lines on the background. But I do think they look pretty decent. They got a lot of hate in CSGO. I don't think they look that bad in CS2. This is a nice little craft. An underrated craft. Like, this is not just a basic craft. that you, Everybody that has a hot rod has this craft, right? But... Props to creativity. I'm also a FaZe fan. So shout out FaZe. Shout out you. We have a Minimal Wear AK-47 Asimov 4X NRG Hollows from Katavita 2019. Let's check this out. That actually fits surprisingly well. I wasn't ex expecting that to fit at all, but the ring on the outside is definitely orange. That fits very well. As I said, talking about Kojo's inventory, I'm an Asimov enjoyer. I do think the AK is probably the worst Asimov finish out of any of the Asimov guns. But that looks really nice. This actually surprised me. I'm taking a screenshot of that. Very nice. We have a USPS Royal Blue Factory New 3X Zitz Gold from Katavita 2019. Let's check this out. That's pretty nice. I'm a big fan of the Royal Blue. It's a shame it doesn't wear very well. Very hard to get ones that are flawless, but you kind of just have to bite the bullet sometimes. But that's a very nice craft. I think this is his main USPS. Correct me if I'm wrong, Louis. But we have a kill confirmed. Field tested kill confirmed. A couple different stickers on there. Ooh, custom placement. I like what you did. That looks good with the pattern of the weapon. That looks great. Both both our NA, our NA gamers are... Kill confirmed enjoyers. I love that from them. We have a stat track field tested M41S player 2 with nearly 6,000 kills on it. With a Hobbit and a Stewie 2K sticker. Very nice. I love this skin. Obviously, I, I talked about it in my anime video that I made or my anime inventory video that I made. But it just looks great. I love the way it looks. Stat track fits actually surprisingly well with the orange. As you can see, I would accept having stat track if you were a skinhead, but this looks great. I like that. We have a stat track AK 47 red line with almost 19,000 kills on it. Man, that's a really cool liquid sticker though. Overlaid like that with the Brazil, Canada, and America. Like that. That's very nice. Uh, SSG, Blood in the Water. Honestly, this thing gets a lot of hate just because it, a lot of failed trade-ups end up getting this. But this is a cool skin. You gotta admit, shark, blood in the water on the front of the gun there. This is a cool, this is a cool scout. It gets too much hate for being just caught with trade-up filler. I'm a big fan of the Columbus 2016 stickers, or the, sorry, the Cologne 2016 stickers. All the stickers we got in 2016 are nice. The Cologne, the Columbus stickers are nice. Very nice, very nice. A field tested FAMAS. Waters of Nephetis. Sorry, I can never pronounce that one correctly. Banger skin, of course. Looks amazing with the new CS2 engine. Looks phenomenal. Big fan of that thing. We have a AK-47 Black Laminate. Nickname AK-47 Dut Laminate. Flusha 2017. Flusha 2015. Flusha 2019. Flusha 2018. Boston Gold. Very cool. Flusha fan. 
Maybe grew up watching Flusha. A Flusha enjoyer. Nice. I like skins like this that com uh, commemorate a pro's, you know, time in the scene. All the tournaments they were at. All the years they played. All the hours they put in. All the work. Very cool. We have an AK-47 headshot with 4x9 hollows from Paris. Rank 1. Oh, commemorating when he got number 1 rank in Premiere. Very cool. Maybe he unboxes the same day. Very cool. Actually, not bad at all. Little chaotic on the hollows there. Like, if you were playing, that might be... That kind of looks like seizure almost. Like seizure. Seizure warning. But very cool. Fits surprisingly nice. This is a funny name tag here. <laughs> a field-tested AK-47 Black Laminate. 4X Katowice 2014 Papers. Team Dignitas. Nin Ninjas in Pajamas. VP. And LGB Esports. Totaling $3,000 in stickers on here. This is cool. That's very cool. You can appreciate that. I like skins like this where it's blank, blank canvas, right? Blank canvas skin. And you just put the stickers on there. Commemorating an old tournament. Very old stickers, very rare stickers. That's a very cool slept on AK right there. That's like a sleeper in your inventory. If someone just pulls up your inventory, they see, oh, you have your ruby, you have your sleepshot gloves, you know. They don't see this maybe. This is a nice little sleeper. We have a battle scarred, burn the boats, love that saying, AK-47 Empress with a gold hobbit, gold nifty from London, Ethan Katowice 2019 foil, and a wonderful glitter, scraped. Let's check out what he did with the craft here. Nifty hobbit, Ethan on the magazine, wonderful in the hair of the Empress. Very cool. Big fan of the Empress, obviously. You can see this one in the videos. I don't know if this is your main AK or not, but very cool. Very cool. Name tag, Louis Dog 91217. He did say he got this AK right here in 2017. As you can see, 195,000 stat track kills on it. That is just absolutely ridiculous. That is crazy. Any cool stickers? Nice. Some Tarek foil. Two Tarek foils. Logic Gaming, Counter Logic Gaming, very cool. Let's just take a peek just for nostalgic stake. 2017 AK, this is, this is definitely a 2017 AK. This is what people were rocking back in the day. Very cool. And then another Red Line 4X Mouse Stockholm 21 Hollows. My favorite sticker, when, this, when these dropped, I was so, I, I was in love with this sticker. That's a nice craft. That looks good. Big fan of this. I know it might be basic, but I'm a sucker for that. I like that a lot. We have a stat track Deagle Conspiracy with 43,000 stat track kills on it. Lou Cannon V3. Nice, dude. That looks great. Nice little blue gem. Field tested pattern 363, but this is very nice. I had to switch teams, but we're almost twinning. Yours is a little bit better than mine. But pattern 363. I have pattern 648. Yours is a little bit better looking than mine. Definitely look a little bit better looking. But very cool that we're twinning. I like that. Very cool. Very cool. Did not see that. Let that one slip by. Ooh, a complexity paper. He's an enjoyer. I love that. But very cool. Thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to review both of your guys' inventories. And thank you for responding to me on Twitter. That was very cool, you guys. Um, I really enjoyed making this video. Please let me know what you guys thought. Thank you so much Thank you all so much if you made it this far into the video I am gonna be giving away this minimal wear AK-47 inheritance once we hit 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel Please join the discord server. I'll link it down in the description. That's where I do all my giveaway information We do a ton of giveaways in there. It's also a great place to talk with other people about skins. We're building a great community There's a ton of active people. I'll see you guys next time